I hear it all the time. Exercise your core. I see it on the Golf Channel. I see it in golf magazines. Well, what is the core? The core is a group of several muscles, both inside and outside the abdomen, as well as the back. They stabilize the body during exercise and our daily routines. Here is a drill called the knee drill, which I think is the best exercise for the core. My student Nick is using a cutoff club. Most people have an old club in the garage. Just use a hacksaw to cut it off right below the grip. If you don't have an old club, go down to the golf store and buy a cheap grip and use that. This is slow motion footage so you can see how it's done. I really want you to do it like this in fast motion. Here's how you do it. Get on your knees with your thighs as straight up and down as possible and your feet almost coming off the mat. Don't lean your thighs too far back or you won't get the full effect. Next, lean as far forward as possible, keeping your back straight. This is my student Andrew. He's trying to get his right shoulder straight back behind his head so that he can increase his flexibility. He stops at the top and then goes to the finish as fast as he can, allowing him to work his fast twitch fibers in his arms. Now I'm going to give you some bonus footage from our two-hour DVD, Biomechanics of a Simple Golf Swing. People have the wrong idea in their head is how they're going to turn the, the shoulders is by using muscles in the shoulders. However, there are no muscles in the shoulders that can turn the shoulders. So this idea of the shoulder turn is kind of a misnomer. It should be called the abdominal and hip turn because that's where the muscles are. But people hear this all the time and then when they get toward the top of their swing, they try to use the muscles in their sh back of their right shoulder to turn and what it does is those muscles pull you up out of your posture and it doesn't turn the shoulders at all. And let me demonstrate that to you. We get to here, we start using the muscles in our right shoulder. It pulls us out of our posture. It looks like I'm turned, but if I go down back into my posture, I'm hardly turned at all. You can find the two hour DVD on our website, bestgolfdrills.com. It's the only DVD I know of that gives you tips on how to use biomechanics to help your golf swing. This is my student Gray exhibiting the wrong way to make a backswing by lifting his shoulder. Here is his setup posture, which is good. During the backswing, he incorrectly lifts his right shoulder and it takes him out of his posture. It looks as if he's turned his shoulders 90 degrees, but he really hasn't. If we put him back in his posture from the top of the swing, you can see his shoulders have only turned about 60 degrees. This is fake turn. Here is Gray doing it correctly. You can see his right shoulder stays low. It goes behind his head. He stayed in his posture and his shoulder turn is a real 90 degrees. Here's another biomechanics trick to help you keep from lifting your right shoulder and ruining your backswing. These are the internal oblique muscles looking at it from the back. It pulls the right shoulder downward toward the right hip. If you keep it contracted all the way to the top of your backswing, your right shoulder won't lift. I think the problem with most people's golf swings is they try to turn their shoulders by using their hips too much. You can see the right hip is right behind my friend Steve. Now the right hip is trapped, it has nowhere to go, and it's going to make him come out of his posture during his downswing. The knee drill will teach you to turn your shoulders without turning your hips so much. The external oblique muscles are located on the side of the body. They allow you to turn your torso without turning your hips. Here's a frontal view. The left external oblique works by pulling the left side over toward the right side. The left external oblique with the arrow turns the torso counterclockwise, turning the shoulders but not the hips. When you first start this exercise, you should do this one first. Go to the top of the swing, stop, and go as fast as you can to the finish. You should probably be able to do about 10 of these when you first start. Next, 
Do the drill without stopping, just like a real golf swing. You should probably be able to do about 10 of these to start with. Eventually, you should try to do 30 of each. I want to review all the core muscles that we're exercising. First is the rectus abdominis, your six pack. The transversus abdominis is called the corset of the body. It's really a big stabilizing muscle. The multifidus is a paraspinous muscle that stabilizes the lower back. The iliocostalis and the longissimus are muscles that go from the shoulders to the hips. These muscles allow you to arch your lower back. And we've already talked about the external obliques. These are some of the most important muscles in the body for the golf swing. The hamstrings aren't a core muscle, but this exercise strengthens them. They allow you to get into your posture and stay there. Here's a bonus exercise for people who really want to get better. This is a slow motion video with Eddie doing the same drill, but using the pro swing band. This allows him to exercise his arms and really create a great backswing. The swing band exercises the muscles of the upper arms and the rotator cuffs. One important muscle is the anterior head of the left deltoid. It is responsible for lifting the left upper arm during the backswing. The anterior head of the right deltoid brings the right arm in close to the body and forward during the downswing. Another very important muscle is the posterior head of the left deltoid. It brings the left arm forward and rotates it during the downswing. Again, here's Eddie doing the knee drill with the pro swing band. The pro swing band really exercises the muscles we just talked about. And it also helps you put your hands into the right position during the back swing and the forward swing. You can find out more about the Pro Swing Band at proswingband.com. For a review, try to do 10 of these when you first start. Go to the top of your back swing, stop, and then go all the way to the finish as fast as you can. Then do 10 of these where you just take regular swings. If you're ambitious, do 10 of these with the Pro Swing Band. Do these a little faster than the slow motion video, maybe at about 50%. Start out with 10 of them. This knee drill is really a great drill. It exercises the core muscles. It increases the flexibility of the shoulder turn. And it exercises the fast twitch fibers of the arms. If you liked what you saw today, go to our website at bestgolfdrills.com. We have a lot of good content, and I think you'll like it.